Hello, this is Jim Smith at GANanalysis.net. Today we're looking at Workhorse, WKHS. As you know, this is one of those stocks that went up sharply. It's the darling of the Robin Hood crowd. You know, a lot of millennials are looking at stocks that go up and down like a bottle rocket. Uh, the momentum trade, it's definitely a momentum trade. The real question now is, you know, how much more is it going to sell off or is, should you be buying it now? Well, nothing is ever certain in the market, but let's see if we can shed some light on this stock based on the principles of WD GAN. Uh, from this high here at 1170, back in April 2016, it sold off 159 weeks into low at 1115, 55 cents. So it notice 159 is just over three years. So there's a three year cycle at work. Also from this low in March of 2017 to this low in March 2020 is guess what? 156 weeks. We know a three year cycle is important to this stock. So we're gonna look for um, from every high and low, we're gonna look for three year cycles. Another thing we're gonna do is you can out, see an outline. This thing, the software projects the, the square. It looks more like a rectangle, but that's because we chose 0.1 as our price unit. Point one, what does that mean? Well, what it means is from this low here, the red line is moving up at a rate of 0 0.1 points per week. And then all these other lines relate back to this one by one. So this one, the green line, is twice the slope. So instead of a 0 0.1, it would be 0 0.2, or two times the slope. And this is half the slope. Um, so, you know, that one goes up half the, the speed of this one by one. So once you know that the one by one is, is defined here as 0 0.1, as it crosses the level of the former high, that completes the square in time. So even if it's not exactly a square, it's more like a rectangle. Remember what we're trying to do here with the GAN square, we're trying to find the uh, rhythm of the market. And we've chosen 0 0.1. Why? Because look at this. It found a low here. It found a low halfway through the square in time. This was a quarter of the way through the square, halfway through the square, and December 6 will be three quarters of the way through the square. So the point is, it seems to be catching a couple of lows. Maybe this will be a low here in December. We don't know. All we really know for certain is that it will be some sort of turn because based on these two prior quarter divisions, we got a turn. So nothing's guaranteed but there's a good chance early december we're going to get a change in trend so if you sell off into it maybe you'll rally coming out of it or if you rally into it maybe you'll sell off thereafter so it's not so much that we're forecasting the market we're saying when should i pay attention to this stock when do i want to look at it very closely we're saying December 4th, you want to look at it very closely. Now, the other thing we want to say is that since this is our first square, two times the square would take you to 2285, which if you do the math, 1115 times 2, 2230 plus 55 cents, which is that low, takes you to 2285. Notice how this was almost within a few pennies of the exact high at 2290. So it is something to deal with. You know, a lot of people say that, oh, GAN is subjective. Um, I'll tell you what's subjective. Listening to talking heads on CNBC, that's subjective. If you make a billion dollars, you get your mug on CNBC, they listen to you. All you're really doing is offering an opinion. I'm not asking you to listen to James Smith. I'm asking you to listen to the chart. The chart is objective. If it rallied to 2285 and found a high, why do you think it did that? It did it because it's twice the range. The range defined here, 1115 times two, is 2230 added to the low, 
gave you 2285 and the exact high was 2290. So guess what? It called the high. That's the geometry of time and price. Gann told you multiples of the range can possibly give you a high into the future. So two times the range, three times the range, four mm -hmm. times the range. We're going to watch all of them. But right now, we have at least a temporary top at 2285. If we do sell off into December, that's probably going to be a low. So nothing is guaranteed. The market can do whatever it wants. But if you're open minded and you're looking for that turning point three quarters of the way through the square and it gets down to one of these levels, we don't know which one. Maybe you have a trading opportunity. That's all we're saying. Very simple. Um, now, the other thing is halfway through the square is about 615. So if it got down to 615 by December 4th and it bounced, well, that would be an ideal setup for a rally. Um, would it be a dead cat bounce and continue down? It's possible. Or would it go up? We're not getting into how long the rally will last. We're just saying some sort of turn is likely on December 4th. So if nothing else, just go to your calendar right now, circle December 4th, and then come back and remind yourself to look at this stock on December 4th and see if it doesn't turn. If it rallies into December 4th, maybe it'll sell off. If it sells off into it, Maybe it'll rally. Uh, it's based on time and price. If there's a relationship between time and price, then it'll probably, as proven here in the past, it'll probably exhibit itself in the future. And we're going to be looking at December 4th and June 18th of next year. Those are key moments in time. To, If you're interested in this stock, those are times when you want to pay attention because something could be happening. A change in trend, a trading opportunity. That's all we're really saying. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want uh, more information about my service, uh, send me an email, jamesmith at ganalysis.net. I do work on Forex, bonds, commodities, stocks, and Bitcoin. So whatever you're looking at, we've got you covered. Um, but this is an interesting stock to watch. It's very volatile. I'm not telling you to buy or sell it. I'm just explaining the principles of GAN. Thank you for your time.